let's talk about like this is important. We need to we need to get the, to the meat of the matter. We need to get to the <laughs> meat of the matter. Um, yes. There, there are those, and and I, I believe there's three categories, but there's probably all sorts of subgenres. There's there's four major categories I point out, and there's subcategories. I even talk about a fifth category, where Bigfoot will attack you with infrasound or terror thoughts. They think that he's evolved over the years to shoot you with like a laser beam of telepathic holy shit to your head, you know, where you want to run screaming through the woods, and also that he uses infrasound to sort of jiggle your insides. Sound odd, but that's really what they think. So there's um. There's people that believe that this is just a dis- natural descendant. It's an animal. It's out there. And, yes. And those may be the most reasonable. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they are? Those are the BEs, the biological entity believers. Yeah. I'm, I'm military, so I put acronym beside yeah. some of these, right? So the BEs believe that it's, and I say simply, it's simply some kind of missing link or it's a descendant of either the ape side or the human side or some kind of mix in between. And I can go into this, but that's why I think one of the most interesting discussions I had on the BEs, the biological entity believers, was somebody telling me that he absolutely can't be a gorilla. And I said, well, you know, explain that to me. He's hairy and seems to like trees and such and you know, scrapes for berries, you guys say, you know, mostly vegetarian, except for the guys who believe he likes to jump on deer from trees like Rambo. Not not PBJs. Not PBJs because he's gluten intolerant. Yeah. And we don't want a gluten reaction from Bigfoot because it could piss him off right, right when he's coming through your camp. Um, but they said, obviously, he's, he's not an ape. And I'm like, why? He goes, well, he's proportionate, you know, and gorillas have the, you know, smallest genitalia in the simian kingdom. So he's obviously a man because people can actually see that he's proportionate anatomically. And I mean, that's, um, so there is a subset, right? There's subsets within subsets, as you said. So, so there is an obsession about Bigfoot genitalia. Absolutely, there yeah. is. And, and it's also... I mean, it's, um, for, it's for science. It is for science. One of the Bigfoot uh, what, uh, forum top topics, which I thought you would find fascinating, is Bigfoot. Why, why would he rip out his weenie, right? And I think that's, that's pretty much sort of encapsulates, <laughs> I think, the entire portion of that Bigfoot belief system. We're going to subject this show to a heavy edit. <laughs> heavy edit. <laughs> well, that's a, I'm this. I'm just being having journalistic integrity. I know you're just about forums. So um, you're not telling people what to believe. You're just putting. The facts I'm just on putting the it out there. Yeah. So, but the BEs are crazy, you know, with that kind of argument. But they seem to be the most reasonable. Yeah, and then there's the the mind control. Bigfoot. There's the Quaventalure, yeah. which actually can interdimensionally long jump, right? If you want to read the Voyagers, I think it's by Ashiana Deanne. Um, the Bigfoot is here to protect us from the other 12-strand DNA beings that are stacked in the harmonic universe trying to take over our world, I think, in the 264-million-year war between us and them um, through the uh, dimensions. But, uh, you know, Bigfoot is here to protect us from the Dracos and also, as you know, the some of those higher beings used the chupacabra, created the chupacabra, and used dinosaurs for lookouts. And a lot of people believe that. And um, so that would be the the uh, mystical being who can also give you prophecies if you'd like. Hmm. You can pray to Bigfoot, almost like a, a hirsute deity, uh, a deity. Um, you can pray to him like a god, and he will give you answers based on the fact that he sees all things simultaneously based on his ability to look through dimensions. But that Bigfoot is still an earthly being? No. That Bigfoot actually can appear or leave at will. Um, and since he has multiple DNA strands, um, you know, he's, he's, he's figured out how to manipulate time and space, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, um, so yeah, that's a Quaventalore. And by the way, I, I had a, a guy come to my house who said he had a prophecy that we had a spirit in our house. This is in the book. And that Bigfoot needed to purge that spirit and uh, came in there and did purge that spirit after we had a big bowl of chili. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's another belief system. <laughs> 